Hello and welcome to another installment of How To, brought to you by Inventors Life over at Blogger.com. Now today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, LEDs. Um, the beautiful thing about LEDs is they are bright and shiny and very beautiful. Um, the downside, however, though, is controlling them is a very large pain for large arrays of LEDs. So today we are going to cover a method that I discovered through some of my colleagues here in my lab um, known as Charlie Plexing. This basically allows you to control n squared minus n LEDs where n is the number of pins to be used and it greatly reduces the number of pins that need to be used as outputs compared to the number of LEDs that you have. So I put together this quick little example. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Maybe it'll focus. But it's basically a simple tracer with a PWM located on the first LED. Um, to do this, for these six LEDs, I actually only used three IOs shown by these three resistors right here. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about a little bit about the, how this works. So with the three pins, only two of them actually only act as outputs. The other one acts as a high impedance input. What that allows you to do is basically ignore the array on the input pin and the outputs when toggled between in and out control, in this case, one of two LEDs. Um, now by adjusting which pin is the input or the high impedance pin and which ones are um, set high or low on the other pins you can control either a subset of the array and the various states of the LEDs. There are some drawbacks to this however. Um, it's very hard to light two LEDs simultaneously. This can be gotten around by um, actually pulsing LEDs at a high frequency, 60 Hertz. And that's because your eyes don't refresh that fast and it actually is an optical illusion um, just generated by that. So, beautiful thing about it is less pins mean more LEDs so possible projects are a LED cube that uses much less pins. You can get color and larger arrays of them. Um, other ones are seven segment displays, controlling a seven segment display without a driver. That's really nice because it uses the same number of pins a driver would use, but it doesn't use a driver, so that saves on some board space. Um, I'm sure there are many more applications, that's all that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, the code will be actually posted on my blog, the ones that I use to create this, and a circuit will be presented next, which is pulled directly from Wikipedia's article about Charlie Plexing. This is actually a really good method and I hope that it helps you out. Thanks. Okay, so here's the circuit I promised. Um, I pulled this directly from Wikipedia's article about Charlie Plexing. Um, here we have our pins on the left and our LEDs on the right. As you can see we have six LEDs for three pins. Um, the way this works is you set pin 3 as an input which on the microcontroller makes it high impedance or resistance because we're working with DC electronics and there's no differentiation. Um, pin 1 and 2 are set as outputs, thus controlling the subarray of LED 1 and 2 in this network. By setting pin 1 as a high or 5 volts and pin 2 as low or ground, you control LED 1. Vice versa, pin 2 is high or 5 volts, pin 1 is ground or low, LED 2 lights up. To control the other LEDs, set pin 2 as a high impedance or input, pin 1 and 3 as outputs, and then you can set high or low depending on if you want a 5 or 6. In much the same way, pin 1 as an input, high impedance, pin 2 and 3 as outputs, you can control LEDs 3 and 4 that way. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me or leave the comments below on YouTube. Otherwise, you can get a hold of me on Google Plus and my blog over at blogger.com. Thank you.